rule? Hmm. There are no rules in Kung Fu Kangaroo. Who are we? Kung Fu Kangaroo! Boss! <laughs> What's Mom gonna say? Hey, Mrs. T. Hi, Gus. Tom. What did you do? Me? No, I didn't. He. I am sick and tired of always cleaning up after you boys. I can't leave you home alone for ten minutes without you trashing the entire house. That's it. I'm going to hire someone to keep an eye on you and teach you some manners. Have fun with that. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I think you could use some manners too, G-Man. No way. I got manners coming out of my ears. Uh, no, that's wax. Mmm, tastes good too. Mom! There's a new nanny in the neighborhood. She supposedly works wonders, turning kids into polite, quiet, solid citizens while keeping the house positively spotless. Mrs. Loudfire is exactly who I need. Mrs. Loudfire, I have to warn you, these boys are born troublemakers. Troublemakers are my speciality. Well, you do have some excellent credentials. The Royal Scottish Nanny Academy, the O'Hara School of Discipline and Punishment, Magic College... Magic College? Oh, I you know, card tricks, pulling a coin out of the ear, that sort of thing. The children love it. Mrs. Loudfire, you're hired. I want you to whip those boys into shape. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Turnbull. I'll whip them, all right. Oh, uh, into shape, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> boys, come in here and meet your new nanny. Hello, kids. Ah! Well, look who's here. Nice get up. I almost didn't recognize you for that. <laughs> Mom, that's not... Mrs. Loudfire, I leave them in your strong, confident, uh, quite mannish hands. Ain't <laughs> it? No, I stole my head, fat boy! <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand ape language. But be gone! Voila! Uh, that hurt you, punk! What do you want, Hex? And why are you dressed like an old fat? Scottish woman. Well, it's the perfect disguise. Parents pay me lots of money to turn their rotten little brats like you into perfect little gentlemen. Or should I say, gentle zombies. <laughs> huh. Is that the only way to get them to sit through your corny magic act? Maybe if you'd shut up for once, you'd appreciate the fine art of... <laughs> What'd you say? Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Miss <laughs> What's the matter, Gus? Nothing to say? Ah, you're not so smart now, are you? My drooling, mindless friend. How can I forget you, little robotic pest? Man in dress, bat, hurt Gus. You fix Gus, but I hurt you. Oh, really? Well, it's laundry day for you. Hey! What fix? Oh. Off you go. Into the dirty clothes. <gasps> oh! Only now he's a Scottish woman and he turned Gus into a, a zombie and he threw my fighting robot into the laundry. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I wouldn't believe that either. I believe you, Tommy. Huh? No! <laughs> I'll take care of you later, Pipsqueak. First, a little fun with my zombie slave. such a bore. Oops, I hate mopping even more. Unless, of course, my zombie slave is doing it. And where 
Then I clap my hands and scrub those dirty pants while I dance around and taunt you mercilessly. <laughs> to get revenge after waiting for so long. After waiting for so long. After waiting for so long. You stupid, family rancid, heckling fool. Uh, oh, it's very plain to see that I'm as happy as can be when my zombie slave is cleaning at my feet. Uh, and when you make mistakes, I will kick you in the face. You stupid, babbling, ugly, heckling fool. Long distance phone calls. Let's see. Who do I know in Rome? Yeah. Good idea. <coughs> Hello. I'd like to order a pizza delivery. Dinner for 100. Thank you. Okay. okay Let's I'm... go. Gus. Hey, come on. Wake up. <coughs> Hello. Market. Uh, 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 there you two are. Perfect. Hazard. Hey! Ha! Missed! Oh, really? Well, I don't think so. Now, to take care of you. You know what they say? Two zombie slaves are better than one. <laughs> Who says that? Uh, oh, uh, let me see. Uh, oh, I do. <laughs> yes! <laughs> zombie heart! <laughs> Oh, this is tiresome. Tommy, now come out here and get turned into a zombie like a man. Bad luck, you. Ah, Goofy, wait! Never mind. I'll let your friend here take care of you. <laughs> zombie slave, destroy the square-headed child. Last, felonious hex, magician, artist, shall have his revenge. I must have a brain. No! <laughs> Nothing can possibly go wrong now. Hey, who locked the dang door? Was there food in your hair? Why is there a fat old Scottish woman with hairy hands lying in the front hall? Oh, feather duster. We had one of these when I was a kid. I love the dusty smell and the way it tickles my nose. <laughs> Dad, don't touch it! <laughs> oh. Sorry, I didn't have time to make you dinner, hun. You're not angry with me, are you? <laughs> I don't know what's got into you, Dwight, but I like it. Who could that be? Oh, oh sono così stanco. Oh, is somebody here uh, order a pizza for a uh, hundred? Pizza? For a hundred? Pizza for a hundred? I'm gonna say! Hey, Mrs. T. Hi, Gus. Tom. What did you do? Me? No, I didn't. He... I am sick and tired of always cleaning up after you boys. I can't leave you home alone for ten minutes without you trashing the entire house. That's it. 
I'm going to hire somewhere to keep an eye on you and teach you some manners. Have fun with that. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I think you could use some manners too, G-Man. No way. I got manners coming out of my ears. Uh, no, that's wax. Mmm, tastes good too. Mom! There's a new nanny in the neighborhood. She supposedly works wonders turning kids into polite, quiet, solid citizens while keeping the house positively spotless. Mrs. Loudfire is exactly who I need. Mrs. Loudfire, I have to warn you, these boys are born troublemakers. Troublemakers are my speciality. Well, you do have some excellent credentials. The Royal Scottish Nanny Academy, the O'Hara School of Discipline and Punishment, Magic College... Magic College? Oh, I you know, card tricks, pulling a coin out of the ear, that sort of thing. The children love it. Mrs. Loudfire, you're hired. I want you to whip those boys into shape. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Turnbull. I'll whip them, all right. Kung-Fu Kangaroo. Who are we? Kung-Fu Kangaroo! Yes! What's Mom gonna say? Hey, Mrs. T. Hi, Gus. Tom... What did you do? Me? No, I didn't. He... I am sick and tired of always cleaning up after you boys. I can't leave you home alone for ten minutes without you trashing the entire house. That's it! I'm going to hire somewhere to keep an eye on you and teach you some manners. Have fun with that. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! I think you could use some manners too, G-Man. No way! I got manners coming out of my ears. Uh, no, that's wax. Mmm, tastes good too. Mom! There's a new nanny in the neighborhood. She supposedly works wonders turning kids into polite, quiet, solid citizens while keeping the house positively spotless. It's plain to see that I'm as happy as can be when my zombie slave is cleaning at my feet. And when you make mistakes, I will kick you in the face, you stupid, babbling, ugly, heckling fool. Long distance phone calls. Let's see. Who do I know in Rome? Yeah. Good idea. <coughs> Hello. I'd like to order a pizza delivery. Dinner for 100. Thank you. Okay. okay Let's I'll... go. Gus. Hey, come on. Wake up. <coughs> yeah. Hello. Market. There you two are. Perfect! Hey! Ha! Missed! Oh, really? I don't think so. Ah! 